going nowhere without this. Where would you mucks bouts even be without me? And what is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. Because you did I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beef-lit brother of yours. Freya... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrope, too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a moofle hind shit pen out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. gonna need more magic than we got, Sonus. Come on, let's find a way forward. Hey, how's about a riddle to lighten the mood? What runs with no legs? Easy, I know. What? You'll have to try harder than that, Brock. You wait, smart guy. Understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. <sighs> Falcon! <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winter for Do you. not. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. Everyone gone, I wonder. They must have withdrawn, <clears throat> hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cocked <clears throat> out all over this place. <clears throat> you can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A <clears throat> great success that was. Obviously. 
Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. <laughs> the plant life is more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can get. Sindri and I were on the out so long, it was like not having a brother at all. Now I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that was the end to all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had he went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. As a family, you gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, Maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one said. Enough! When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I get it. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. You wish. do to drive everyone away what weapons did he make the dwarves build him how much was just mjolnir can one man do this much damage depends on the weapon and the man <clears throat> River. It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. Yeah. 
What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. You can't do anything with that yet, it seems. Hold up! If you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah! All yours, big guy. Your people oh. need even visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. <clears throat> Glad old Brock gave your skin. Uh oh. Dwarf! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. 
Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. We sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Oh. Huh. Don't we all? Put him down. Stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freyr. Hello, servant of Freyr. Do not speak to him. Look, you chased him off. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. We got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. I'm pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos and no. The Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, careful you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about <coughs> Now that the distractions are out of the way... I have words if you would hear them. 
Speak then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own. Thanks.
Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family, my mess. I know Balder wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes, I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope. What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. To get to that watchtower, we'll have to go through the valley this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's. I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the 
guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is no peace I seek. All those times I found you. Why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. Hm. <sighs> Play hide and seek with Freya in the crops. We'd spend afternoons at harvest time. We'd dance and feast and sing. Sounds so simple. Why did I have to come back here? To be reminded of all this. The Grand Hall. It's in ruin. Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. Ah! <laughs> 
what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoyi. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. behave similarly to the storm holes we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. <laughs> well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. 
He rushes blindly to a fate the Giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the Giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok has been missing a piece of peace. Oh. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still mm. stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. <sighs> you never know when someone will come along and cut it short. Can you swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path? Let's cross the bridge now. How can you, of anyone alive, be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't. After the price I pay to pay you. Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil.
the task at hand. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Anskotar Asgardar! Vita platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things?
Do not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgar. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Open Vera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knot. That's how he did it. Come on! Nito! The creature! It belongs to Odin? No! It protects Ingrisil's roots wherever they are! That's counting on it! <laughs>
see it.
werden. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I can do either. There is still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life. And never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. <laughs> 